What's up guys, today I'll be showing you how to do water droplets on a helmet or on any other object, doesn't matter what it is, in Cinema 4D. Like I said, this process will work on anything. Also guys, before we get into the video, make sure you join the Discord link below. It's a Discord to a graphic designing community, so a bunch of artists there I wanted to grow. So yeah, make sure you uh, join that Discord. So let's get started. First off, load in your character. Now, for the second part, let's go ahead and make the material for the water first. So go to create down here and go to new material. Open it up by double clicking it and check transparency. In the refraction preset, change from custom to water. If you don't have a refraction preset, change it to 1.33 the refraction so yeah next is to make a sphere so go up here in your parametric objects and choose sphere now drag your material that you just made onto the sphere next part is to go into MoGraph all the way at the top and go to cloner put your sphere into the cloner Click on your cloner and in the mode, change it from linear to object. Now you see it says object right here. Just drag your helmet or whatever you're using into the object. So boom and boom. In distribution, change from vertex to surface. Now as you can see, we have these spheres around the helmet. Let's go ahead and do a render real quick and test it out. Now let's go ahead and uh, add your Lightroom or whatever you're using. If you don't have a Lightroom that you like mainly use for renders, just go up here in your lights and grab a infinity, a infinity light and change your shadow maps to soft or go to gray physical sky and grab a physical sky but if you have a Lightroom just load it in which is what I'm going to do right now all right so for the next part wait hold on let's give it another render real quick all right so that's good now our droplets are too big there will never be droplets like this onto a real object so let's go ahead and click our sphere and lower the size. Just click on it. Make sure you have the scale tool selected and just click anywhere and drag, hold and drag. And go to a size that you're about satisfied with. And that right there is good for me. Go into your cloner and into the countdown here, change it to 900. You want a lot of small drops first, so I'm going to have about three layers, small drops, medium drops, and large droplets. It gives it more realistic feeling to it. So yeah, I'm going to scale these down a lot smaller and give it another test render. I'm going to increase the count to 1,200 all along. All right, for the next thing, just duplicate your cloner so click on it hold control and drag now in the seat over here change it to whatever it doesn't matter what seed you have as long as it's not the same as the other cloners now these is going now this is going to be the medium droplet layer so click on your cloner I mean on your sphere and make the droplets of bit larger not too large click on your cloner and decrease the count you want to start from a large count of small droplets to a very low count of big droplets so medium is going to be between those two so I'm going to have it at about 600 I'm going to give it a test render and see how it looks going to turn on ambient occlusion and global illumination for more detailed results as of what I'll be using when I make an ad or anything with this. 
so yeah click on your settings up here if you don't know already go to effect and choose ambient occlusion and choose global illumination make another test render What is going on? I'm going to turn off global illumination. Don't know why that black thing is happening right there. Same thing. Turn off ambient. Turn back on global illumination. Ah, that looks very good. So, if you're having those black droplets and they're not transparent, just make sure ambient occlusion is off. I don't know what's making that problem. It's probably because it like, automatically has a shadow around it and it just interferes with the material itself. All right, so yeah. Now let's go ahead and make the large layer of droplets. So duplicate your cloner again. Remember, click on it, hold control, and drag. And put the size up just a little bit more and change the seed again. Now, decrease the count to about 200. I'm going to give another test render. looks okay to me I should probably lower my medium size droplets some um, so yeah I'm going to just configure this part myself for whatever I feel that's satisfying I suggest you do the same and don't completely do what I do come up with something that's yours so yeah I'm going to decrease my mediums probably increase probably Probably increase the large ones too and decrease the count to about 50. Mm, make it, let's give it another render. Now, I really like that. Yep, that's good. That right there is really satisfying for me. Now, I'm going to duplicate it again. Now, this is where it's going to have a bit of variation. It's going to look like a rain droplet. It's not going to be completely spherical. So, go up here into this little thingy right here, the vector. I don't know what they're called and go to meta ball on your fourth duplicated cloner drag it under the meta ball now click on the meta ball and in the sub subdivision editor change it Make sure you just play around with the hall value and editor subdivisions to get something that you want. That's cool. Maybe decrease the size of the sphere. And decrease the count to maybe increase the count I don't know make sure you just play around with it 
So yeah, in this part, you just want to play around with the hull division, I mean hull value, editor subdivision, and the count of the spheres. I'm going to give it a test render. This definitely won't be my result. Wait, you see how it's kind of gray? Just put your material onto the meta ball. I'm going to give it another render. Wow, looks cool, but not realistic. Hmm, what to do? Looks like gel. <laughs> I'm going to, ah yes, I'm going to just decrease the radius. Also again, make sure you change the seed. Just play around with it. To get something that you like, give it another render. Now that's really cool again. This is a really tricky part, so I'm just not going to do it requires more advanced things that I'm not about to go over in this video so yeah well guys you should have your helmet with water droplets on it thanks for watching again make sure you join the discord in the description below to our community inferno gfx so yeah Good luck with whatever you make and everything else. Have a good time signing off, Vegito.